welcome back to my channel, it's Caitlin here. Today I'm going to be doing a chilled video. I say that every time, I don't know why, I'm just always feeling chilled when I film. Today I'm going to be showing you some cool bits and pieces which I've got on Amazon. I am a big advocate for Amazon, love the stuff you can find on there. I don't necessarily go on to look for stuff, like to just browse, but one big thing which I would recommend, which I do all the time, when I see stuff on ASOS or in more expensive places like Zara, Topshop, I go on to Amazon and see if I can get like a cheaper alternative and I have done that over the last few months so I'm going to show you some stuff which I picked up for absolute bargain prices and I would highly recommend that you guys pick up some of the stuff or you just like take a little leaf out of my book. I'm going to show you some of the stuff which I picked up on Amazon recently which was an absolute bargain. So first thing which I'm going to start off with is this trend which is going around right now of wearing hair bands. You guys have probably seen in a lot of my vlogs, I wear them too, particularly because I've got like a really weird fringe and it's great, like I love having a little fringe but it's so annoying sometimes to kind of style. Like you can probably tell my hair is a bit of a mess today. So I just pop on hair bands and honestly in like Topshop I originally bought one in Topshop for £12, like I'm not joking, £12 it cost me. It's lovely and I wear it all the time, I think I've got my money's worth out now, but picked up some stuff on Amazon and they are literally like £2, not even £2, like £1.20 or something. So I originally got this one but I think it looks a little bit kind of like a school uniform if you're in the UK, you can probably feel like this looks like... Um, a kind of thing you'd wear in primary school to go with your school uniform. These two are definitely my favourite. The seller which I bought from, they do a deal like two for one or two for, two for half price or something, buy one get one half price. So I got these two. This one is the classic leopard print which I think is literally the most popular hairband which I see everywhere at university and around my friends wearing. So this one literally cost me a pound, like a pound fifty or something. And then this one is a black one. All of these have like the little tie at the top and this black one is like a velvet one and I'm probably going to go back and pick up some other ones in different colours because I love the velvet kind of feel to it and it looks really good quality. I mean it is really good quality especially for the price but I feel like the velvet in particular looks like it's something that I could have got at like Topshop or Zara or ASOS. Like such, like such a sturdy good hairband. They keep your hair back really really well. They're not flimsy or anything. So yeah, that's my first thing which I have to show you, bargain. Next thing which I have to tell you and tell you guys you have to do is get your funky sunglasses on Amazon. Do not go into Topshop, do not go into any high street store and buy those like funky fashion sunglasses. Like fair enough, get your real sunglasses, spend some money on them because you need them to like protect your eyes from the sun. But if you're going to be wearing sunglasses just for fashion, say you're going to like a music festival and you're going to be wearing them on like the bottom of your nose and they really are not practical, go to Amazon and get them because they are so cheap. I got these ones for I think, I swear they were like 50p and they are so fun, they have loads and loads of different um, different styles. Like I honestly couldn't tell you if these are like CE certified if they're actually going to protect you against the sun so that's why I'm saying get good like quality sunglasses from decent shops but if you're going to be wearing sunglasses just for like fashion go on Amazon because as I said these were 50p. So next thing I'm going to talk about is hair clips. These are big deal right now, very on trend and you can get them on Amazon, you can get them on eBay as well but for so 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 cheap. So I have two different types to show you which I have bought both of obviously because I've got them to show you. The first one are these like Kirby grip ones that say like a word, they say you can say bay, love, peace, hope, all these like cringy words but these are literally one or two pounds on Amazon and you don't need to go and spend a fortune in your high street stores so definitely pick up a bunch of these. And then the second kind of style of clip which has been really popular right now and you can get on Amazon for like pennies are these like proper clip ones, you know the ones that are like these and you put them in your hair, giant clips. They have lo loads and loads of different styles, they have ones that have got not just pearls on them but like different diamantes on them and things like that so that is the second kind of clip which I have to show you so that's two different types absolute bargain on Amazon. Next thing is something that's not necessarily on trend right now. This one is something which I have purchased religiously on Amazon and I have never bought from a store online or a store on the high street anymore because it's just not worth my money. And that is eyelashes. So these are my favourite eyelashes. I buy these pretty much like 
every three months or something once I've used up the whole packet. This is a pack of four Ardell Demi Wispies. You can get like hundreds of different types. You can get red cherry lashes on Amazon and everything like that, but obviously for such a cheaper price. These for four cost me about eight pounds, I wanna say. And I feel like a pack of one in Superdrug is like four. But yeah, these are bargain on Amazon. I wouldn't understand why you'd buy lashes anywhere else now because they're the same thing. Next thing is this little packet. I've not opened it yet because I watched this video and if I opened it, I'd probably lose it. So these are so cool right now and I am loving the look that it gives you on an outfit and stuff. As I said, I've not used them, so I'm excited too. These are sunglass chains, so you can attach them to the... I don't know if you attach them here or if you attach them to like the corners, but essentially they're like you get a packet of gold and silver chain and then when you like take your glasses off you can like rest them here. They look kind of cool, they look kind of vintage. I saw a few people wearing them at Coachella, just means you don't lose your sunglasses and it's kind of a bit fashionable at the same time. So definitely now that I've shown you them I'm gonna put them on my own sunglasses and take them to Central America with me because that's quite handy. Super cool! Love it! I probably look like a fatty. Mm. Next thing which I'm going to show you is something that I'm not as happy with. So this is something that I'm not like buzzing about but I definitely want to go on and see if I can kind of find a better version. So they're in this packet. I've not opened them yet. They are essentially like mini scrunchies that have little tails on them. That does not make sense <laughs> in any way. So essentially what I was looking for, a copy of the scrunchies that you get and they've got the kind of long, ribbony, like detailing to them so when you tie your hair up it looks like you've wrapped it round with a scarf. So that's what I was kind of looking for but I did not nail it with this purchase. This is what they look like. They're little little scrunchies with tiny little like bunny ears on them but to be fair the kind of bobble part of them does feel really sturdy. You know some scrunchies are really loose and weak and especially for me I've got a decent chunk of hair. It doesn't hold my hair up but these seem pretty sturdy. Also because they're quite petite I can use them for like half up half down hairstyles so I could totally do that and pop that on my hair. It's just not exactly what I was looking for but I feel like I can make it work and I got literally a packet of about I want to say like at least 10. I'm gonna go back and have a look and try and see if I can get what I was actually looking for but I'm still happy with my purchase and it's something which I'm definitely gonna be able to use especially throughout the summer. Next thing is something which is a little bit boring I'm sorry especially for summertime right now you're gonna be like oh don't remind me but I've said this on my channel before as well get your flashcards on Amazon. They are literally like 20p per pack and you can bulk buy them especially if you're somebody who's just finished high school right now and you're gonna go into university. Buy them now and buy like hundreds, well maybe not hundreds, buy like 20 packets because you will use them in the four or three years that you're at university. I sadly have one remaining but I'll be able to give it to my sister to use and you get so many and in like Boots and Tesco and where else? WH Smith and stuff. They're like six pounds to buy something like this. 20p on Amazon. Next thing is something again which is kind of on trend right now and I am so happy I found on Amazon. This is a little choker which I've seen on a lot of like Instagram kind of celebrity people. This is like a shell choker style necklace. This was sold in like an authentic kind of colour which I have here which is like the white shells and a black kind of rope around them but you can also get gold, silver, like bronze, all that kind of stuff as well if you want something a little bit more fancier. But this one I just thought was very beachy and when I'm on my holiday, which I'm on right now when you're watching this, I thought this would be so lovely to wear because it's kind of like, like beachy. Okay next thing, I'm going kind of like cool thing, boring thing, cool thing, boring thing, but this is a phone case. Now everyone knows that you can get phone cases on Amazon, I feel like that's a given. I've been buying phone cases on Amazon since I got my first phone. This is a particular phone case which is such good quality and I wanted to tell you about it specifically because I'm not going to talk about phone cases in here. Like, As I said, we all know that Amazon sells phone cases. I have had this in many colours. It's essentially like a matte phone case. It's like kind of a rubbery, feels like a rubber on your phone. It's such good quality. It doesn't mark either. I got like a score over it or a bit of like dirt. You'd feel like the rubber would 
have the stain but honestly you just like give it a bit of a rub and it comes off it's so good doesn't stain doesn't mark it's so so sturdy on your phone you get them in hundreds of colors i will link it down below love the, like the feel of them they feel like the real apple you know how you can go in and get apple cases for your phone and they've got like the little apple logo but apart from that they look like and feel like the ones you spend like 20 pounds in the apple store for so couldn't recommend these enough. And the final thing which I have to show you was something that I was so impressed that I found. But now that I've bought it, I'm like, am I ever going to wear it? I don't know. I'm going to bring it to America with me. And hopefully get like an Instagram with it. But I saw this on one of the Instagram adverts. So whilst you're swiping between stories, you know how some fashion brands advertise on this, like Instagram stories. And it was this cool girl standing by the beach. She had like a red top, black cargo pants on, and then she had a red bucket. <laughs> and I thought it was so cool the way she was wearing it. She had like little black glasses on the end of her nose. She looked so sassy. And I thought it was something that maybe I could potentially pull off. Like that kind of Instagram baddie scene is something that's definitely not me, but I liked her vibe and I took a bit of inspiration. And it fits me fine. It's a bit stupid, but it would be cool for a music festival. So yeah, I don't know what if you'd actually want to buy a red bucket hack specifically, but I feel like the principle is the fact that like, just get some funky hats. Again, it's kind of similar to the sunglasses that I was chatting about. If you're getting something for fashion, you're getting something that's just like, realistically not going to be worn very much. Maybe you're going to wear it to a festival once, or you're wearing it for like a fancy dress or something. Go on Amazon and buy them on Amazon because like, you're just wasting your money if you're spending £20 on things like these because it's just not worth your money. That is everything which I had to show you. I hope this video was helpful or interesting or just give you a bit of inspiration on things you could find on Amazon. I definitely recommend just finding things that you like on your like classic high street stores and online Instagram brands and then going on Amazon and finding an equivalent. I wouldn't say just scroll on Amazon because it's honestly the biggest place in the world and I would struggle to find inspiration on Amazon purely. For something like a basic accessory, you will probably be able to find it very cheap on Amazon. So that is the moral of the story. I hope you enjoyed. Please give a like and subscribe. Comment down below if you want to. Check out my Instagram right now for my Central America pics. I'm currently traveling Mexico, Belize and Guatemala. So hopefully I'm still alive, but Check out my Instagram to see where I am on my journey and how I'm getting on and I will see you soon in my next video.